Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And we're doing third person mode for a reason here. So today guys, we're going over my top five favorite John Deere's. And then at the end of the video, I got my worst favorite. Now, real quick, do me a favor guys. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Leave a comment down below. What is your guys' favorite top five tractors? And which one of the tractors in this group that you guys have in your list for your favorite top five John Deere's? Everybody's list is going to be different. And you're going to notice I put certain tractors in certain spots. So, I don't have a 5045D, but I got what was closest to it. So let's get into it. We got the 5045 or the 5403, which is one of the closest ones I could get. That tractor in real life we have here at the farm it is a small tractor. It's good for hay, tedding, raking, chain airing. The only downside to the 5045D is it's underpowered for hills. So that is my downfall. That's why that tractor is my number five. My number four is the 6115M. And a lot of you guys are going to know this from when I do real life videos. We have a 6115M in real life. And you guys probably probably going to be wondering well more why is it your number four favorite it's a great tractor 150 horsepower 115 horsepower strength on the engine but the pto power is only 91 horsepower and it's pre-def so it still has its issues with the dpf and stuff like that that is part of the newer newer tractors that's part of the issues to nowadays stuff and that is why this tractor is sitting at number four on my list. Now our number three is our 6430 in real life. That is sitting at my number three. It is pre-DEF. It is pre-DPF, which is diesel exhaust filter. So this tractor ranks at number three because it is one, it's cap tractor, it's Two, it's a loader and three is also does what we need to do it's very reliable we have had very little issues with it and also this tractor at engine output is 120 horsepower it is at PTO the horsepower on it is sitting at roughly 96 horsepower so it pulls the disc by a little better Ours in real life is 16 forward, 16 reverse. But the gist of it, the 6430 is my number three. My number two is the 4020. We have 4020 in real life, power shift. One of the best tractors we've ever had. Recently had a brand new motor put in it seven years ago. And I have to say that tractor has been very reliable. It is old school. And there's really nothing negative I can say about the 4020. The 4020 has been probably one of the workhorses we've had. But that drops us to our number one. And it's, if you notice, I'll have two tractors here. Both of them is Together as a series, it is part of the 40 series package. So your 4040, your 4240, and your 4440 are all right about the same frame tractor. The only difference between the each of them is the horsepower output. And the 4040 is one of our is our open station. I believe I've shown that tractor on the channel in real life. And we've also had the 4240 in real life on the channel as well. These two are my number one. 
for two reasons. The 4040 and the 4240 were the first two tractors actually driven on the farm. So that is where sentimental value comes in. Both of them are pretty much set up like real life, except this one has the quad shift in it. The 4240 has the quad shift. The 4040 we have in real life is a power shift. The seat is wrong in game, but I'm not going to complain. It is an open station tractor. And then, of course, the 4240 is all correct. So, as you all can probably see, we got one tractor sitting over here off to the side. Now, we don't have the original one closest to what we had in real life at one point, which was our 6200. That was probably one of the worst tractors out there for John Deere at the time from 92 to 96. And I'm going to explain why here in this video. So for all you wondering down in the comments, or everybody that's watching this part of the video, I'll break it down to you. So in 1992 to 1996, the 6000 series tractor was introduced which is this compatible, which this came out in 97 to 2001, was the uh, 610, 6010 series. We don't have a 6000 series equivalent. Sadly, not yet. I'm working with a few modders to get that. But I'll explain what the difference between the 6210 versus the 6200. The 6200 came out in 1992 to 1996. It was a hybrid tractor from going to the old mechanical equipment and the electrical equipment that was just getting introduced. So if you go to any of your John Deere mechanics who's been in the industry since the 90s, they will all tell you the same thing. The 6000 series was one of the hardest tractors to work on. A lot of people hated working on them. I personally didn't like that tractor. It lacked power on pulling, but the tractor could push like a bulldozer. So that's being honest. But guys, that is my top five tractors over there and my number one dislike tractor over here. True honesty on the John Deere side. But if you guys want to see me do some more top 5 or top 10 of farming simulator equipment, leave a like, let me know in the count, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see on this type of thing. We'll start a series of what we like and what we don't like. Um, we'll put them in a range from top 5 or we'll put them from top 10. Um, hopefully in the coming days we'll have a... Um, Top 10 things I would like to see in the next farming similar game. But other than that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all next one. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you all later.